Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be counting down the top five best bits from Ms. Marvel episode one. Let's go. So number one on the list is pretty much the um, beginning of the episode. It was a bit of a funny scene. So the episode starts off with Kamala basically taking her driving lesson. And basically while she's sitting in the car, she's literally just daydreaming about Captain Marvel the whole time. But then eventually when she focuses and it's time to drive, she just... The first thing she does is completely back right in to the driving instructor's car and she literally totals his car. And then basically it, it kind of skips to the next scene where she's basically there with her, the instructor and her mum and her dad and they're trying to make out that it's the instructor's fault and everything. And it's a really funny scene, especially for me growing up. I grew up around a lot of Muslims growing up. So just what, especially the mum, I think for this show, the mum is like literally everything that I've experienced of like, you know, my Muslim friends' as mums and what they're like is really just hilarious to see. But yeah, that, that, that part I think was one of the funniest scenes in the episode. So that was part one, best bit number one. Now the second best bit, so basically there's, um, she wants to go, um, Kamala Khan wants to go to something called the Avengers Con where she wants to compete in a cosplay costume, a co competition where she wants to dress up as Captain Marvel, obviously. So basically what she does is, she's in her room trying on the costume. Like previously in the episode, she had tried to ask her mum and dad if she could go and they basically flat out said no. You know, the mum started talking about the way everyone's gonna be acting there what the girls are like there etc etc so basically she's trying on the costume in the bedroom and she can hear her mum coming upstairs and as her mum's coming up the stairs she quickly jumps her robe on she quickly jumps her robe on to cover up what she's wearing so her mum don't see it and her mum comes in and it's clear that the mum and dad felt a little bit guilty so the mum's like yeah you can go to avengers con etc but then it's like there's a catch and she's like oh you can only go if you go with your dad and then the dad jumps in literally dressed as the whole painted up green and everything and he's like oh and basically she just got this look of horror on her face and she's just like i'm not going with this bozo so basically in her own way she basically says to him that she doesn't want to go with him etc etc which basically leads to the dad's feelings kind of getting hurt and you can tell that dad you know he hurt his feelings and stuff and it doesn't go down well with the mum and dad and basically the mum's like oh yeah you're not going to let you go with your dad and oh we're so disappointed in you and basically she's just like she starts walking around talking to bruno and you can tell that she's really like she feels really bad but the same speed as bad as she feels she does not want to go with him she just wants to do what she wants to do the third best moment of the episode so after bruno and kamala conjure a plan for her to sneak her way to go to Avengers Con. She basically, they basically sneak out. She climbs out the back of her window when they all think she's in her bedroom studying after dinner. And they pretty jump on their bikes and they're trying to race to catch the bus to get there. But while they get the bus, they jump on the bus. And just as they get on the bus, Bruno is able to get his bike on the bus, but she loses her bike and then her bike's gone. And you can see how sad she is on her face. So then basically they get to Avengers Con now and she goes into the toilet to try on her put her costume on for the competition because it's about to start and basically bruno's like this tech savvy kind of character he's kind of um he's kind of like uh, the white male version of shuri obviously i i don't think he's meant to be as smart as shuri is in black panther no he's like that kind of character and he's created these kind of gloves that beam light out of them so it looks like she's got captain marvel's powers and then basically what she does is um she's taken the bracelet that has been sent to her by her auntie to her mother and she's obviously She's stolen it out of the box and when she's in the toilet getting changed she puts the gloves in the captain marvel helmet but then she gets distracted by checking out the bracelet and then what happens is when she rushes out the toilet because you know she thinks she's gonna be late she leaves the gloves behind so then when she leaves the gloves behind she's about to get on stage and like bruno's like where's the gloves she's like oh my god i forgot them and she's, she was willing to go back and get them. But Bruno basically says, no, you got to go on stage now. He's like, just put the bracelet on and go. So she puts the bracelet on. And while she's on the stage, obviously everyone's taking pictures and stuff. 
and she's like standing towards the front of the stage and she's like covering her eyes and stuff because it, obviously the bright lights are clearly too much for her to take and then but in the space of doing that she kind of activates the bracelet you know eyes change color and everything and she starts shooting at this like purpley diamond beams of energy into the air and everyone's like oh my god what is that what is that i mean by beaming them out she actually knocks down this ginormous four hammer and ant-man head and basically starts causing all this havoc crashing down things rolling into people and it's like panic and everything everyone's getting scared there's one part some girl from her school actually gets whacked by this giant hammer it sends her flying into the wall and everything and then just as she's about to drop on the floor kamala's like laying on the ground and she outstretches a really long giant hand in the true ms marvel fashion that she would uh this part though for me i found it hard to watch because she's only just first got the first experience of the powers of the bracelet and all of a sudden she knows how to rescue someone i don't see how it makes sense but you know it's clearly not aimed at my age group it's aimed at you know youngsters so yeah but yeah she saves the girl from her school and then her and, her and bruno quickly gotta get out of there and then obviously they run and she goes home fourth Best thing about the episode. So, Kamala's now escaped the Avengers Con and she's about to sneak in back home. As she comes back in her room, I was literally expecting this when I saw her sneaking back in. But she sneaks back into her room and her mum is literally sitting at her desk and she's like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. And gives her some long lecture about, you know, about <laughs> responsibility and uh, they thought much more of her. I thought, you know, she'll be a better person and does she really want to go down this road, etc. You know, the kind of, you know, the way your parents will talk to you when you do something that they don't agree with, you know, that's literally what she does. And then Kamala obviously feeling all bad. But then the same speech, she's like looking at the bracelet thinking, oh my God, I like got superpowers now. And you can tell by the way her character is, that's like the most amazing thing that could ever happen to her is that she's got superpowers. And then the final and fifth best part of the episode is it's a post credit scene now usually on a disney plus show we don't get a post credit scene in the first episode but in this one we do so basically someone has filmed footage of her at avengers con using those powers and basically one of the um they, they show these two fbi agents and one of them sees it and she's like oh we might need to bring her in and the guy comes up to her another agent and he's like yeah we need to bring her in now and then the you know the scene ends and it's back to the credits again so yeah that was my top five parts from episode one of ms marvel when episode two comes out next week be sure to join me for that video when i'll be showing you what our next best parts are for that one um tomorrow i should be um posting my review of ms marvel i didn't want to post it today because i had the obi-wan kenobi video coming out today i had this ms marvel video coming out today i didn't want to overload the channel and also i wanted to give myself you know a day or so to just let the dust settle and see how i feel about the show i didn't want to give a, a knee-jerk reaction which i you know i always hate those anyway but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you found it informative and and if you're new to Ms. Marvel character, be sure to check out my video. It should be popping up right here. Little one here. That brief history on Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan. If you don't know much about the character, quickly give that a watch. And you, uh, you know, you'll be up to speed with her character. Obviously, they have changed certain bits about her origin in this show. But not that many things. There are a few things that are quite the same. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. You know the drill. Live long and prosper. See you later.